the popular music destiny of our country. You make it out the back, the smells are coming back. The first ones are too small, and so you take the magic out of The rock era of the 50s was a music world dominated by American artists. In this program, we look at the Australian music stars who would have come of age in the 60s. The ever smiling Carl Joy, the wild one J.O.K., Johnny Fine, The Seekers, Helen Reddy, The Easy Beats, The Bee Gees, Rolf Harris, Nolly Rowe, Johnny Young, Dinah Lee, Nolene Batley, The Twilights, The Zoot, Billy Thorpe and the Aztecs, Ray Brown and the Whispers, and many, many more. These were the swingin' 60s, when a young man's fancy turned to surf and safaris, and young girls wore pink pedal pushes, and kids nationwide stomped the sands. Biggest Australian surfing songs of the 60s, and one of six major hits for the then number one group, the Deltones. <laughs> This was the era of mods and rockers, and Johnny Devlin was a true rocker. National TV show Bandstand gathered a family of popular favorites. The family included Carl Joy and the Joy Boys, Laurel Lee, Judy Stone, Leo and Doug DeCrew. And Carl's brother, Kevin, pounded away on the keyboards. It was a time of surf parties and outdoor fun, but the times and styles were soon to change. Billy Thorpe and the Aztecs were starting to toughen up the Aussie sound. Billy and the boys were big all over Australia. In Melbourne, a reported 63,000 fans turned up to one riotous concert. Where the bombs are bombing my feet. Oh, the king of girls just had a hit team. 
and soda topping. Fourteen-year-old schoolgirl Little Patty quit the classroom for the glamour of show business and sang her way into a career which is still alive in the 80s. Olivia Newton-John, The Easy Beats, Digger Ravel, Max Mirror, The Meteors, The Bee Gees, Merv Benton, Johnny O'Keefe, Normie Rowe, The Flies, and many more. Coming up as we run through a decade with the Australian music stars of the 60s. The cleaning lady, her sound was what she got to play and sing of. November 67 saw the release of Sadie the Cleaning Lady, one of Australia's biggest selling singles. Launching 18-year-old plumber Johnny Farnham on his new career. Max Merritt and the Meteors stormed across the Tasman in 1964 and Max's name became part of Australia's rock and roll history. The latest hairstyle, diminutive Judy Stone was flying high with her biggest hit song. Maybe four million, three thousand, two hundred, twenty-one kids from now. Cause I've been everywhere, man. I've been everywhere, man. It was the top Australian hit of 1962 and even recorded in Japanese, climaxing a career for Lucky Star. Jackie Weaver launched her career through singing and became one of Australia's top actresses. Times have changed for Jackie Weaver. Brian Davy spanned the 10 year period with five hits. Sandy Scott was one of Australia's best known faces with hardly a hair out of place. Seen here turning a soul song into a ballad with vivacious Laura Lee looking on. Here's a guy who you've met before. It's a very interesting thing that the recording that he's going to, the, the song he's going to sing for you, he's recorded. And also, most important, it's going to be released not only in Australia, but also Belgium, the United Kingdom, and there is a chance that it could go to the United States. To sing Dreaming About the Baby, here is the guy whom I'm talking about, Mr. Wickard. <laughs> I 
dreaming about my baby and the former life of mine. Well, I was dreaming about my baby and I was holding her tight. We wanted our men out together. Trade Wicker was not destined for international stardom, but there were others who were to turn the music world upside down internationally. Oh.